Oh, mate, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of hearing excuses from fans. From the manager and Costa Coglu, we let the fans down. Sonny has said we take positive from the second half. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of hearing the same crap. I didn't know there was a championship, but we played well in parts. If there was a championship, but we played well in parts, we're the champions. It, it, was, it was horrific. Horrific performance again. Brian, you know that member, what Bible Arian said, you can't and you can't play you set pieces an excuse because they're different to the rest of the game. <laughs> Mate, listen, I, I put a tweet out and said, do not play out from the back and do all this. Like I said last week, we, we played or two weeks ago, we played more chances at the back, uh, playing out from the back than we do up front. And what do we do? We didn't concede in a corner. We know we're crap at set pieces, they're good at it. They did it. They did it. They played. To, they played us to a team. So I'm just gonna move somewhere. So we're in full range right now. One sec. One sec. One sec. That's better. That's better. That's better. Yeah. It right. mate, listen. It's just right. poor. poor. Yeah. So um, I just want to raise. Just seen something on Twitter. So just showing the replay of the dis of the Van der Ven disallowed goal. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong here because I don't understand how the phases work. So obviously he's given. A, he's given offside by VAR for the first shot from Poro. But actually, it yep. looks to me like the first deflection from Saliba goes forward towards the other Arsenal player that it deflects off and then goes through. Is that not a different phase at that point? Well, the thing is, well, from what I saw, it looked like it was an Arsenal player that touched it. So technically, it shouldn't be offside. No, yeah, so technically, it, it, was, it was, it was, it, he, he has the shot. And, it, and Saliba blocks it, but he blocks it forward, and then it hits an Arsenal player and comes backwards through to Van de Ven. So, f like, even if he is offside from the original shot, I feel like that should be a separate phase if of it's, play. If, if you're if you're saying it's the second phase of play, I don't then, know. I don't then, fully yeah, understand yeah. it. If it, if it's the second phase of play, which I don't think they're going to class it as, they're going to say it's the first phase. Then he he wouldn't be offside. Yeah. But because it's part of still part of the Poro part of the same attack, same attack, yeah. they're going to say it's all part of the same thing. And he has gained an advantage by being in that position once Poro's taken the shot. Yeah. Oh um, mate, you know what? You, you you need to you need to do you know like in London when you're doing the taxis, you need to do the knowledge. I think we all need to do it for VAR. It, it's <laughs> getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. But the one thing I do want to make uh, uh, a point of is we apparently have two hundred million pounds to spend, and it's this is the time that we strike. That money needs to be spent just on the front line, just on the front line to sort this out because start of the season it was free flowing we were dangerous we looked lethal we looked tired we looked devoid of ideas we look the front line has gone to pieces absolute pieces we we we, we had so many opportunities were breaking forwards and we just play it back play it back and just keep doing the same thing Podge, uh, Podge, Posta Coglu has got to start seeing that he's got to manage the game better when we were under attack and we were under siege at one point yeah. just weather the storm for 10-15 minutes then go back to your principles it, it's just it's not on it's not on do you think Brian it's, as soon as that second goal goes in do you feel like um, Postatog and should have just changed yeah. something at that point well do you know what the, the build up said you were you're talking about the penalty look when you first see it it looks like it does look like a penalty, but I can understand yeah. why it wasn't given because it was just a clip and they're running next to each other. He didn't deliberately yeah. put his leg out. So, so I can kind of get it. I it actually thought that. before the replay that the second uh, uh, tackle on, on that field, I thought that was more of a penalty. Until I saw it, I saw that the Arsenal player actually got the ball. But as soon as they broke forward, Ben Davies, don't. Don't let Saka cut in. Don't let Saka cut in. He just literally opened his body. Said, "You know, I'll just tuck inside me uh, and put it away." And it, listen, Arsenal didn't have many chances, but they are so clinical. When they get them, they take them. Our best chances fell to our defence. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. And and Sunny, Sunny had that one just at the end of the first oh, half. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? And he, he's not on form at the moment, but you know what? If there had been any player on the pitch you would have wanted that ball at that moment to be at, it would have been him. And do you know what? Not to even get it on target. 
not to even get it on target was just I, I couldn't believe what I've seen. But it's okay. We're we're here again. The uh, the excuses come out. The the nods of the week twenty points below them. Champions League, which I didn't want and didn't think we we're going to get, is not in our hands anymore. And uh, we we uh, as a lot of this fan base go next season will be different. <laughs> Well, hold on. Don't worry. There's Just, always next season. But hold on. How? Like how? What was your What was your prediction for our season at the beginning of the season? I, I I'm not well, sure. Well, last season, I'm... mate. Barnaby, the, the what I said all season, I didn't even prediction. All I I had two things that I would deem as success. One was we finished the season with the manager we started it with. Yeah. And the second thing was that we took both the cups seriously. That was all right. That, that I didn't even bother talking about the league. The only two things I wanted were deem as success. 50% of the way there because Ange will finish the season and I'm still Ange in. Ange needs time. It's just mm. if we get the right players for him mm. that can play his system, it will work. It will work. It's whether we get I think you're right. the players. Mm. That, that's the thing. I, I've got to listen to him. You, he, he's shown what he can do. He's shown the style of football he wants to play. When, when Mourinho is at Chelsea, and all the big managers, Klopp and Liverpool, they have one style of play, yeah. but the key is they got the players to play it. Can I ask where you heard that we have two hundred million pounds to spend in the summer? Because I don't think yeah. we'll have. I don't. Think oh, we'll have it's, all, it's all across Twitter. And remember this new investment that bullshit that comes out when every single time there's new investment coming in and that goes quiet. The PR stunt, mate. Whatever, whatever it comes out, this this club will do the same as it does every single year. Quantity over quality. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're going to have two hundred million pounds to spend. That's for sure. It's, it's just a well, not in your wildest dreams. I'll be lucky yeah. if we get two hundred million over the next three windows. This this includes if people that we sell that we're looking right. to sell right, right, right. plus the investment that's Ryan, coming in. I have to ask you then, um, Chelsea Thursday night. Are you as uh, fear, fearful as I am? Oh mate, with that, mate, I said beforehand if there was one game in hand. Everyone was going about on a, when we had that one game in hand. That it's in our hand. It's in our hand. If there is one game you do not want that game in hand to be, yeah, it's away at Chelsea. We there is absolute. Forget how bad they're playing or how hot and cold they are. This is a nightmare place for us. Yeah. I fully. I, I said in the beginning of the week. Unfortunately, I predict zero points in the next three games. This, and then the two away games that we are absolutely historically woeful at: yeah. Chelsea and Liverpool. I think we've got and more us. chance against Liverpool than we and do us. Chelsea, knowing us. <laughs> Mate, it, it, listen, where, where do where do we go from here? I, I'm sick and tired of going, oh, well, well, we played well in patches and then if we're taking our opportunities, we didn't. We didn't. Well, Other teams that want success take their chances. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? Because, look, I get, I get what Ariane was saying before, right? And I completely get it, right? But if we looked at the game as a whole, we didn't actually play... Badly, what it was, we got done by all our weaknesses in one game, in one half. But Marlon, we 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 played we played well until we got near the penalty area. Yeah, because it was apart from eleven men behind the ball, yeah, that also did have something yeah. to do with that. But that, but that this is the issue because if you're gonna if he's gonna play a certain way, yeah. right? We ain't we're not creating the chances either, are we? We're not. We we they put eleven men board. They put eight nine men behind the ball apart from Havertz, and we find it hard to break teams down. Yeah. And it seems it just seems to be a regular occurrence over the last few weeks that this is what all teams are doing against us, and we're just coming unstuck. Yeah. Yep, and not just not just that as well, Marlon. You look at it, so many people said, "Oh, they're going to be tired. Their season's over. We're going to strike and put the final now in their coffin. It's done. April always gets them." They've gone out of the Champions League. Yeah. Two nil against Wolves, five whatever or six five against Chelsea. The only the only success we could take is at least we they conceded a good away goal, and we ended that six Nottingham Forest. Congratulations, Spurs! <laughs> you ended one of their records. Well done, Bravo. Brian, I'm laughing because I was one of those people. <laughs> I was well, one of those bravo. people. Um, that, that's I, the thing. Just... Like, like I said, that's the, that's what we. I'm just disappointed. But uh, we didn't get Bissouma didn't come on and score a goal and make it 172 goal scorers in the Premier League to be proud of. 